and you don't know where you're going. I mean, it's not like an OBE where you get up out of your body and walk around. They're similar, but that's different. That's an OBE. That's an out-of-body experience. A lucid dream has similar qualities too, but that's still just a very vivid dream that you can take control over consciously. Okay, a full-blown astral projection is different. Similar qualities, but different. Now, this isn't the greatest metaphor, but regular visualization and daydreaming is like looking out the window. Lucid dreaming is like opening the window and sticking your head out. Out of body experience is like opening the window, climbing out and walking around. And a full blown astral projection is like being sucked out the window by a beam from aliens and transporting you halfway across the galaxy to an unknown location. <laughs> Now your subconscious knows better than you, okay? Well, why should it permit you to go to the astral? If you can't deal with things here, what makes you think you're going to be able to deal with things there? You're just going to freak the f*** out in fight or flight mode and either attack things or run from them. I don't care how boring you think your life is. You do have a purpose in this realm. The problem is, is that you've drifted away from your purpose. See, all the things that people get into the occult for, sex, money, power, none of that stuff makes them happy when they get it, if they're not on their purpose. You have to be on your purpose. If you're drifting, you'll never be happy. There's a lot of rich people that are absolutely miserable. You think that when you get these things, they're going to make you happy, and for a brief time, they may, but... These things in of themselves never create a lasting satisfaction. True happiness comes from finding your passion and purpose in life and doing that just for the sake of doing it. 